Speak. 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 Good boy. first video of 2023 so i wanted to start off the year with a how to be productive video now we're in the middle of winter and seasonal depression is very real you know even just feeling unmotivated it's a normal human thing we all go through it at the end of the day so don't ever put yourself down for it so i just want to share some tips with you guys that i've personally been using that has made me see a huge increase in my productivity stay tuned for the end of the video because i'm going to be going out with <coughs> So yeah, enough talking and let's get into this video. So first tip that I have for you guys to start stepping into your most productive self would be to plan out your days beforehand. Me, I love to use my iPad. Like, my iPad is my baby. I use the app GoodNotes. I bought a digital planner from Etsy and I downloaded it onto GoodNotes. And that's what I've been using. I love planning out my days, especially my weeks, even my months. Like, I love to plan out. When planning out your day, it's best to put the task that takes the most effort and the most work in the beginning of the day and slowly put the less important tasks towards the bottom so we can slowly start relaxing throughout your day also just having a planner it takes a lot of weight off your shoulder because you never not know what to do you always have something to do and if you don't that means you complete your task and you could just relax throughout the rest of the day my face looks very oily tip number two is do not go on your phone the second you wake up this is honestly setting yourself up for failure it'll change your life why did I just pick up two brushes? Instead of going straight to your phone, be thankful you even woke up that morning. Thank God for light. You know, a lot of people didn't even wake up that morning. Be aware of your surroundings. Breathe. Meditate. Do something that's gonna ground you. Logging into that virtual world the second your eyes open is so bad for you. I mean, your mind is gonna go through so many stimulations and so many different emotions. You're gonna look at the news, you're gonna get stressed out, you're gonna start comparing your life to other people. Honestly, you're gonna lose track of time and it's gonna be so much harder for you to start your day because it's so easy to just lay down and move your finger and you know be entertained. And it's gonna be so difficult for you to get through your day because you started your day on such a bad note to where you just want to be lazy all day. I promise you, if you take nothing from this video and you just take this one advice, your life will change. I promise you, your life will change. I dare you, do it tomorrow morning. Do not get on your phone for at least an hour. Not even as soon as you wake up, at least an hour. Come back here, let me know how your day goes in the comments. Promise you. Step number three is creating a vision board. There's so many how to create vision board videos here on YouTube. I don't know if you guys want me to make one. Honestly, the whole purpose of a vision board is just a motivational reminder of what you're doing this for, who you're doing this for, what's the goal. You're going to see that every day and you're going to be like, this is what I'm working towards. This is what I want. And you know, back to the planning out your day. Once you complete all your tasks, you're going to look back at your vision board and be like, okay, I'm one step closer to this life. Step number four is cleaning your space and making your bed. Your space is a representation of your mind. So if your space is all messy and dirty, your mind is definitely going to be unclear and cluttered. Even making your bed first thing in the morning, you're going to be less tempted to crawling back in and being lazy. Personally, for me, my bed takes a lot of space in my room. So regardless if my room is clean or not, if my bed is not made, my room is just gonna look super dirty. That's a small thing. So you have to romanticize life. You have to romanticize making your bed because whether you believe it or not, it definitely makes a difference. 
Tip number five is rewarding yourself when completing tasks. I'm definitely not saying reward yourself for every little thing and just go crazy. But when you complete a task that was really difficult for you and took a lot of your energy, reward yourself for something you love. I recently did this myself this week where if I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning and I went to the gym, I was going to reward myself with Starbucks. I don't normally drink Starbucks because I don't really drink coffee like that but i was really craving it and i was honestly just gonna get it just because but attaching that goal to it just made it feel so much better because it felt like i really earned it and honestly it made the starbucks taste so much better literally the only reason i even did work out and go to the gym was because i knew i was gonna get that starbucks after be delusional literally <laughs> if me going to the gym just because i want to get starbucks i still went to the gym I still went to the gym. I still woke up at 6 o'clock. Still worked my ass off. So who really wins? But no, honestly, it just feels so much better and the reward feels so earned rather than pointlessly getting it for no reason and feeling guilty for yourself. Tip number six, stop being a perfectionist and take action. A lot of you guys need to hear this. I need to hear this. <laughs> we procrastinate so many things without even realizing it because we want it to come out perfect, top tier, the best. When in reality, that's just an excuse that you're using to not start. The closest you're going to get to perfection is when you get up off your ass and you start today and work with what you have and just learn along the way. Literally, the hardest part is just starting. Tip number seven, give yourself a break. It can be very easy to overwork yourself, so this ties in with rewarding yourself. Reward yourself with a little break, you know, a little 15 minute, 30 minute hour break. Just remember to set that timer because it can be easy to fall into that loop of pointlessly scrolling again. So make sure you're holding yourself accountable. Lastly, incorporate things you love doing. When you start feeling overwhelmed with procrastination, do something you love that's going to make you feel good about yourself. Whether it's journaling, cleaning, cooking, showering, um, drawing, doing your makeup, anything. Anything that's going to make you feel good about yourself and ease your mind, do it. Incorporate that into your to-do list for some peace of mind. Okay, those are all the tips I have for you guys today. I promise you, you guys follow these tips every single day. You will be the most productive, most unstoppable, best version of yourself for 2023. Also, this is the final makeup look. As I mentioned before, all of the products are going to be linked down below. So make sure you go check that out if you're interested. And yeah, let's go get our day started. So it's been a few days since I last recorded. I'm very sad to announce that my dog from the beginning of this video sadly passed away at two years old. He passed away on Monday. It's currently Saturday. So yeah, it's been around it's been a few days. Um literally when I recorded the beginning of the video, it was like it was Saturday. So then he passed away on Monday. <sighs> it was really freaking hard. It's been really freaking hard, honestly. If you have a pet and like you ever, if you have a pet in general, you know how much you love that animal. Like it's like they're literally they're literally your baby. So yeah, it's been really 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 freaking hard, and it's been super hard to like even like you know do stuff so yeah i haven't really been productive like that so it's been a few days and you know i decided i need to finish this video i'm like okay that's enough today we're gonna be productive we're gonna do stuff that's gonna make me happy and get shit done so we're starting off with the gym we're gonna start with that i'm gonna do a little workout i'm gonna do a big workout i've been doing like super long workouts like i've been in the gym for like three hours and then i'm gonna get starbucks i'm gonna treat myself to some starbucks probably i'm gonna see because i don't want my stomach hurt i don't know if i'm gonna record the gym because i do want to get some content for like instagram and tiktok and stuff so i'm gonna probably be recording on my phone but i don't know it's saturday it's like <laughs> three o'clock it's probably packed as well so yeah i'm about to see what happens I'm sorry if my mood is very, like, 
draining. I'm keeping it real with y'all. Honestly, I'm not about to fake shit. I'm keeping it real. I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all. getting along right now because i have it like set up on my little radio shit <laughs> and it's like swinging back and forth it's just swung so hard that it turned off by itself so that just happened so this is the best the angle's gonna get but yeah i probably said this like 50 times already i'm going to the grocery store i need breakfast foods i have not i don't have anything like for back i don't have anything at all actually damn i should have tried but yeah, I have like no food in my house. So a little breakfast shit because I'm losing my ass. Like I'm putting all this hard work in the gym and then not even eating. Yeah, I don't really be hungry. Obviously I wasn't hungry this week like that, but also there wasn't even really food like that because I haven't went grocery shopping. Oh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Like, but yeah, then after that, I'm gonna go take promo pictures. Here, I'm gonna let you go, Papa. You better give me the hand, too. No hand? Like, I don't care if it's dark. I don't care if you have tints. You better roll that window down and give me the fucking hand. I'm not gonna lie, this whole vlog part of the video is like doing the complete opposite of what I said <laughs> earlier. Oh my God, please. But it's real life, okay? This is real life. I'm keeping it real with you. I'm not gonna fake act like i'm this perfect person i'm just chatting i'm really just chatting this is why i can't record myself while i'm driving because i'm gonna just chat shut the hell up i'm gonna see you when i get there let me listen to music because i'm really just chatting for no reason so <laughs> hold on.